So I love the idea that we can validate our data. Again, get clean data in because we're validating it as the users are inputting the data, which means we get clean data out of the system as well. Now, we noticed earlier when you input something that does not comply with the validation, for example, if I come back down here and change this from Chevy to Porsche, hit my enter key or tab key, whatever, I get an error message. Now this is the default error message that comes out of the Excel validation tool. And all it says is, hey, the value enter is not valid. A user's restricted the values. Well, great. Us, as the developer of the validation rules, we can also specify our own custom errors. This way we can perhaps get a little more explicit and descriptive to our users. Or we can have a little fun with our users and give them some wacky error messages that they can interpret themselves. But well, either way, we can create our own custom errors. Take a look. So first step, I need to select the cells that I'm validating. So for me, I'm going to go from B4 down to B30. That's the same group of cells that I did in the previous lecture when I created the drop-down list, the custom validation. So with that selected, I'll go back to data, back to data validation, back to data validation again. And this time, you can see I still have my, my settings in there, my list with those four options. I'm going to go over to the error alert tab. On the error alert tab, I can see that it is going to show an error after invalidate is entered. But remember, it's the default one. So I'm going to create my own. First, I'll give it a title. I'll just call this uh, car make. And that'll be at the top of the, the error window, kind of like it says data validation up here. But we'll get car make on ours. And our error message. So this will be the error that gets spit out to the user when they do something wrong. So I could be really silly about it and I could say something like, Try again. You know, ta -da, and that's it. Or you say, you bonehead, you did it wrong, or you know, whatever. Or I can get a little more descriptive with the user. I can say something like, uh, let's see, you must, let's see, I'll say uh, you entered an incorrect make. Please select a valid make from the drop down menu yada 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 you know really explain it to them so I, I read this this quote once and I can't remember who said it I think it was just actually something thrown out on a social media page somewhere uh, that talked about uh, validation of data like this or creating systems for users to work in and input data you want to make it as simple as possible you, you essentially want to do the work for them they input data, validate it all right there, explain to them what they did wrong, right? exactly what they did wrong so that they can fix it and they're not sitting at your desk right? having you do it or you're not holding their hand. Help them out as much as possible. So if I hit OK, I'm going to hop back out here. Let's try putting something in there that doesn't exist. I'll say Porsche once again, hit my Enter key, and now I've got my custom error. You entered an incorrect make. Please select a valid make from the drop-down menu. Okay, I'll retry. And now I go to the drop-down. Oh, retry. Let's get rid of that. Go to the drop-down and I can pick something valid. So customize, not only add the validation, but help your users out. Explain to them exactly what they did wrong and what they need to do, the steps that they need to do to fix the problem. If you don't describe to them what they need to do, the next thing you know, you're gonna have a line at your desk people asking you, hey, I'm getting an error. What's going on here? How come I can't put Porsche in here? Well, now I got to explain to each individual person at my desk what's going on. So tell them out. Tell them right there. Custom error. Select the range of cells. Go to data. Go to data validation and do your custom errors.